Jesus Christ and welcome to a quick you know vlog by Grace Gospel Evangelism which is me and today you know I've got something exciting something exciting lined up and we're going to do a, a, a very brief Bible comparison should be interesting just to see you know the, the, the differences between especially these two versions uh, I'm going to be comparing obviously the King James to the, the NIV so what we're going to do first, I'm going to read out just, say five, maybe even just four, I think probably four, we shall see, we shall see, you know, uh, verses from the King James, and I'm going to read them aloud, exactly how they are in the NIV as well. So let me first, you know, start with uh, Matthew 18:11, uh, which says in the King James Version, For the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. And from the NIV it says, very interesting, very interesting. As you can see, the NIV really hones in on that, that passage. Quite amazing. And another one in, in Mark, chapter 7, verse 16. The Lord says, you know, if every man have ears to hear, let him hear. Now let's compare that to the, to the New International Version, which says... Yes, yeah, very interesting. So evidently, you know, those who read the NIV, they don't need ears, and you know, they don't need to hear. And let's go for one more. Well, we're going to have two more, but oh, we're going to three more. We're going to three more. I'm going to go for a, a nice passage in the in the King James. And then we'll compare that to the NIV. You know, hopefully there won't be too much difference. But John five four says, for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water, whosoever then was first after the troubling of the water stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Quite powerful that, quite powerful, especially knowing that, you know, this angel stirred the water and it was kind of first come first served and there was only one healed. And it's a good comparison to how more potent Christ is because all can be healed and it's just not first come first served. It's any that come. So that's, you know, powerful in that it's shown that Christ is way and above, you know, is creation so let's just compare that to, to the NIV absolutely amazing <laughs> so profound in the NIV as you can tell and obviously it doesn't matter you know the NIV doesn't matter already comparing Jesus to Lucifer it also doesn't mind skipping out the that portion as well very interesting very interesting this next verse I like in the obviously the King James Version, because it expresses, you know, how someone's saved, you know? And that's in Acts, you know, 8.37. And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And then obviously he was baptised. Let's just see uh, what the NIV says for Acts 8.37. Yes, very profound, very profound, very profound. And that's going to really help people, you know, by reading the, the NIV now, because they miss that verse out and assume that what saves is, is baptism. Silly, silly, silly people. Anyway, let's read one more from uh, Romans 16, 24. In the King James it says, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And let's just compare that to the NIV. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So obviously the NIV doesn't want people to know that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ is with us all. And this is forever. And it says Amen, which is most assuredly. Which is a comforting verse. So, there's a comparison. I hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, I'm going to read now a profound word from the Psalms. In 12, you know, this is Psalm 12, 6 and 7. It says, The words of the Lord are pure words. As silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. And thanks be to God that he has actually kept his promise and the word has been preserved for the English-speaking people in the King James. You're more than welcome to read at NIV if you want, but, you know, bear in mind the crickets and bear in mind the substance has been mutilated from it. So with that, I shall bid you all farewell and God bless.